Hello my dear students. Welcome to Learner's Planet. Students, we are going to study about force, work and energy. So children, you know that in everyday life, we see and perform many actions that involve a push or a pull. So what does this actually mean? What is the actual term given for push or a pull which is acting on an object? Let us start with today's session. So first of all, we will see that what is meant by force. Yes children, a push or a pull acting on an object is called force. So force is just a fancy word for pushing or pulling. If I push on something or pull on it, then I am applying a force on it. So you can see that force make things move or make things change their motion. So two natural forces that affect most of the motion that we are aware of are the force of gravity and electromagnetic force which we will be studying further. There are the types of forces. But here what can we say that a force is actually a push or a pull which acts on an object. Can you see here in this picture a man is applying force right and he is actually pulling or he is lifting the weight right so some force is acting upon it in this image in this picture you can see here that a soldier is firing right and bullets are coming out of it so when a soldier is firing actually a force is acting upon it and some pull is acting upon that object so basically he is pulling it and he is firing let us see some more examples children yes here you can see various types of examples of push and pull like you can see here a teacher is pulling right then here two persons are standing and one person is pushing another person so he's falling down in third image what we can see yes that a big bus a huge bus is pulling the three cars here a horse an animal is pulling a cart and here we can see that a small girl is trying to open the door of an almira that means she is pulling and trying it to open yes here are some more examples for you a girl is trying to push the object she is actually trying to fill all the gates all the objects in one single bag so she is trying her best to do that for that she has to apply force she is applying force so one type of push is acting on it and as we know that a push or a pull which is acting on an object is known as force so she is actually applying force then a cute little puppy is playing with the ball he is also pushing the ball but the ball is coming again towards it 
then in this image in this picture can you see what can you see yes a girl is doing work she is doing some work she is pushing the cart she is pushing a wagon a boy is also pushing a wagon and here a man is pushing a machine that means all are applying force yes what can you see in these pictures in the first picture you can see that there are some naughty naughty people like naughty children they are pushing or we can say rather they are pulling their mom to have some chocolates this is a very bad thing here you can see that a father is pushing he is applying force on the swing and her daughter is able to swing and she is enjoying it then here you can see that a girl is pulling a cart like thing or a wagon and here there is a patient on the wheelchair and a lady is pushing applying force on the wheelchair so that she can move forward and she can take the patient to the required place yes what can you see here some people are writing that means this is also one such example of a pencil even a pencil requires both push and a pull you can observe it by writing on it while you are writing you are actually applying force that means a push and when you are done with your work you are pulling your pencil that that is doesn't requires that much of force but it is actually requiring a force so push or a pull that doesn't means that how much you are applying force but it is all about applying the force even some amount of force applied or some amount of push or pull applied on an object is termed as force so let us now study more about push can you see here now we have been through many examples and so we can conclude that actually a force can change the original shape and size of a body so any kind of action of pull or push type that has a result of changing the velocity of the body is called force you can call out different motions such as jumping up and down spinning around doing a push up etc you may also want to call out different positions like stand to the right of your desk go under the table right so all these things combine to form a force we can put together a list of items that require a push pull or both to operate to use for example we can see here that a sweet little boy he is pushing the car towards the other car here a boy is actually pushing a car is actually playing with the toy car so what the difference is you can see yes when there is one object which is in front of another object that means it is resisting the force right and here what you can see that a cute little boy he is playing with a toy car but what is the difference between both the images 
both the pictures here you can see that a boy is pushing a car but another car is standing over here and because of that this first car is not able to move ahead that means it is resisting the force and here nothing is resisting a force means this car is going on very smoothly in the same way you can see here here there is a rough surf sorry here there is a smooth surface so a car is able to move very smoothly and here there is a rough surface and that is why this car is not able to move very softly or very smoothly because it is a hard surface on which this car is driving right so this car is actually moving on a rough surface and that is why it is not able to move smoothly right so that was all about push now we will study more about pull can you see here a lady yes a lady has a fishing rod she is holding a fishing rod and she is trying to pull it out from the water yes to grab a fish to grab a food for her here you can see that a boy is trying very hard to pull this bag full of toy here you can see that a man is trying to pull a page of a very heavy book here an old man is trying to pull the gear of a machine and here you can see that a man is trying to pull this heavy object right so this is about pull let us see some more images yes there are some animals which are pulling a cart right a cart of a santa claus then in this image you can see these are the daily examples which you can see which you can observe right there are some cities in india in which paddle rickshaws go on right paddle rickshaws are used so this is one such example that a man actually pulls the whole rickshaw that is a paddle rickshaw and he is able to earn from that so it is also kind of transport in the third image this is the same image which we saw now the small girl is trying to open an almira and she is pulling the door of almira right then here there is a pet dog and a boy a school boy is trying to pull his book from a pet boy here you can see that a horse trainer is trying to pull a horse here two persons are applying force on one such object so can you see the movement they are trying to pull this object then here what is happening a man is trying to pull out something from this object yes this is one of the daily example which you can observe or which you can notice in your school here a lady is trying to pull the bell and then the bell starts ringing this is the very happiest moment of all the students in the school right whenever a bell rings all the students are so happy that a period has got over right or the recess time has come right 
and here you can see that one man is trying to pull his friend he is trying very hard to pull his friend upwards right so these are all such examples of push or pull that means push or pull is all about applying something on object or applying something on a material or object and that is termed as force but there are some points to be remembered yes a force applied on an object does not always cause it to move like pushing a wall now you must be thinking that when we push ourselves against a wall then why doesn't the wall moves no wall can't move you know so this is a point to be remembered that there are some forces that act on an object but they do not always cause it to move like you can see here this is one such example if you will try to push yourself against a wall that means you are applying the force on the wall but the wall will not move so always remember that a force applied on an object does not always cause it to move it will cause to move those objects only which are able to move as we saw the examples right now here we can see some of the buttons right now this is like pressing the button so we are pressing the button but the button which has been supported by this ring this ring is not able to move so we are basically applying force on the button and button is able to move but not the ring which is supported which is actually supporting the button the same way you can see here there are some designs of buttons which are supported by such ring now we are applying force on the button the button is able to press but the ring will not be able to move even if we apply force on it so we can conclude that force on an object does not always cause it to move 